Louisville. And this is my first time in uh, Tokyo and in Japan. And I love it. Uh, in Israel, the sushi is, uh, is considered something very luxurious. Luxurious. Oh, okay. It's very, it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. But here in those shops, it's even cheap. You know, there is like a rumor like Japan is expensive, but mm -hmm. I find it's exactly the opposite. Coming to here into Japan and to see that the most um, a high scale food in Israel, here it's like your hummus and falafel, which is our uh, most common food. So uh, it's really cool. Dish. This yeah. is hummus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it, it is made of chickpeas that are grind. The other, the other uh, food is falafel, which is also made from the same uh, substance, mm -hmm. but it is a uh, it is being um, um, fried in oil. These two dishes are like the most common in Israel. It's yeah. very, uh, for everybody can buy it. It's not expensive at all. Mm -hmm. It's in every corner. You can find uh, places that sell mm -hmm. those kind of dishes. It's, it's, I feel lucky that I can <laughs> now enjoy high-end uh, food in Israel <laughs> and in the price of yeah. hummus and falafel, yeah. which is, uh, which is awesome. Okay, <laughs> so can you tell me the reason why you came to Tokyo? I wanted to, to come to a culture, this is a culture that I'm not familiar mm -hmm. of, and, to, and not to be kind of a visitor that, that is uh, surrounded by an organized group and protected by a guide, mm -hmm. because I wanted to really uh, absorb the culture mm -hmm. and the people in a way that I would be um, communicating and living among them mm -hmm. as if I'm one of them, mm -hmm. so I could really uh, understand uh, Japan as it is. A few months ago, I started to learn Japanese. I can just uh, a little bit I can speak, mm -hmm. and I uh, bought a ticket, and that's it. Here I came, and uh, I didn't plan anything except that before I came, I, I ordered a pocket Wi-Fi mm -hmm. that would wait for me in the airport, mm -hmm. and I ordered. Um, a, a JR pass, and um, I and I booked uh, like four nights in a capsule hostel in a, in a female dormitory. Oh, really? Yeah, which is actually a very good uh, place to stay at. I, I recommend it, and uh, I was and it's very nice. So I, I extended my stay there for uh, for a few more nights as well. Oh, okay. So that's where I stay right now. Wow! Right. You should uh, take take a picture of this uh, yes. lovely dish. Wow, this looks amazing. What is this? It's a uh, sea urchin. What is this? Sea urchin. It, I don't, don't show me. Yeah, the it's no way. This little hey, spiky thing. This is what I'm eating. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's believe what it is. It. What is this? It's a uh, kind of eel. A what? Eel. What's eel? <gasps> no way! <laughs> no way! Yes, yes, I yes. have to take a picture. Yes, <laughs> Do it! First time, never First anything time. like it. <laughs> Alright, now I'll taste the other one, that uh, snake thing. Yep. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, this is kind of an experience, like to live all your life having like knowing a few colors, like let's say blue and red and yellow, and then suddenly you come to Tokyo and you realize that there are other colors, like pink, many colors that I never knew that existed. I mean, I never tasted anything like this. I like it. Yep. So what are you so gonna I, go I next? Guess, I guess this is tuna. Yeah, that's And tuna. I guess this is salmon. No, it's no? not salmon. What it's a it? fatty tuna. What is it? Is it a kind it's of a, tuna? It's a tuna but different parts. Oh really? That has more fat. Oh. That's a uh, shrimp. That's a shrimp? Yeah. Really? Yeah, shrimp. A shrimp, uh, just to, to make sure that we are not wet. Can you show me how a shrimp looks like? Yeah, yeah. So that I will be showing it? Really? Yeah. Really? Wait, I, I, I should take a picture. <laughs> and this is another fish? This is a scallop. Scallop. A scallop is Can like you show me? the shell. Ah. Wow. Wow. Ah. Up fast. Mm -hmm. 
It's more chewy, I think. Here is the proof that this yes. is a shrimp. <laughs> yeah. I'm not you lying to you. You said that before, <laughs> but now I have a proof. Oh, nice. Without using chopsticks. Usually, this movement is a little bit difficult for foreigners, but you do it perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> So if I go to Israel, what kind of uh, tourist place you, you, you have well, for four years? In Israel, the capital is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So our uh, House of Parliament <laughs> is located there. Mm -hmm. So actually the politics and all governmental issues and government offices are in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But the, the capital of, of finance and high-tech industry especially is Tel Aviv. <laughs> Jerusalem is also the place that a lot of the history is being found there. Sacred place. Sacred places for all the for different uh, uh, religions is in Jerusalem. And the Wailing Wall, which is a wall that w remained from the, the mountain that surrounded the, the temple that was a very, very religious, very uh, holy uh, to the Jewish nation. So it was destroyed already. But there is one thing that is left, which is a big wall from old bricks. And now this wall is the, is the point that Jewish people all around the world come to pray there. According to the tradition, what is being done when people are visiting this place is they, um, they make a, a note, they write a wish from their heart, mm -hmm. and they fold the note, and they go into close, close to the wall, mm -hmm. and they try to find and squeeze a place that is not already filled with many notes, oh. and to, to put the note inside there. Oh, really? Yes, with the wish that uh, it will manifest by the help of uh, God. Oh. So, um, I don't know why, even though I'm not uh, very religious, but when I go to the Welling Wall, and I do this action, I feel like a rush of spirituality and as if something very special is taking place. I cannot escape this feeling. People there are praying and crying and, and really um, getting in touch with, uh, with, uh, with God, with spirituality. Can they say it in Hebrew? Madhim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It's am <laughs> okay. Madhim. Madhim. In Hebrew, that Hebrew. is amazing. It's amazing. Thank you so much for inviting me for this wonderful uh, lunch yeah. and spending time with me. And uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope that uh, I will continue to enjoy my staying in Tokyo. Thank you very much for Thank everything. You.